The big name ruining the fun of thousands of families and then saying it's all their fault. Live from our office when in a moment we will be taking on one of the biggest companies in the world. We're all... hmm, but first, Microsoft. They'll blame you for a problem with one of their best known products. Could our lab tests prove them wrong? Here's a family that looks like they know how to have a good time. They're hooked on the game Guitar Hero, which they play on the Xbox 360. Or they did, until something very mysterious happened. Something that's happened to thousands of Xbox 360 owners across the world. They're playing a game, and the action stops. It seems some Xbox 360s have got a problem. One that could destroy the games that you've dished out a lot of money for. Now, if it happens to you, the makers, Microsoft, will say, it's your fault. But have we come up with a real explanation? When it was launched in 2005, Microsoft boss Bill Gates called it the Ferrari of games consoles. Since then, 28 million Xbox 360s have been sold worldwide. But lots of you have been telling us there's a problem. It doesn't affect the box, but the games you buy to play on it. And at around 40 quid a pop, they're not cheap. 13-year-old Michael Moen is such a devoted fan, he'll do anything to get the cash to buy them, even if that means scrubbing off droppings from his neighbour's pigeon coop. It was quite difficult to save up for the games. And it took me about um, a month for each game. But after just a couple of weeks of playing his new game's disc, Michael and his mum Rachel heard a strange noise coming from the Xbox. I put the disc into the machine. It made a horrible grinding sound yeah. and was completely unplayable afterwards. It had a circular sort of scratch, almost like someone had put a coffee cup on it. A few days later, the very same thing happened to another of Michael's discs. Before any um, like picture came onto the screen, it made the same noise as the first disc and the um, same circular scratch appeared on the disc. Microsoft refused to cover the cost of replacing them. They did look at his box because it was still in warranty, but they said it was Michael's fault the discs had ended up scratched because he must have moved the game's console while he was playing. Michael, did you move the box? No, I didn't. What do you feel about this, Rachel? I was really upset by the whole thing because he worked really, really hard to save the money to pay for these games, and he'd only had them, well, you know, not very long at all, and suddenly they're rendered completely useless. Not fair, is it? No, it's not fair. It's taken me a long time to get the money for my games, and I just feel let down. That's an awful lot of, um, what's the word? Um, I'd say poo. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing happened to our music-loving family, the Monaghans. Dad Robert wanted an activity the family could do together, and thought the Xbox could put the X Factor into their living room, so he bought the game Guitar Hero hoping it would bring a whole new meaning to a night in front of the box. But band practice came to an abrupt end one day when the game stopped. When they took the disc out, they could immediately see why. What happened? We opened the tray and found the disc was scratched. We took the discs out and mm. we seen that there was a big massive ring around them. And my dad went mad. Did you go mad? I did. I thought the kids had misused the disc. Did he shout? Yeah, it's all the score bed. Had they? No, no, as it turns out. No, had you? No. Had you? Had you? No. Had you? What did Microsoft say? They weren't going to replace the games. They said think? that the console had been moved or knocked. Had the console been moved or not? No, not at all. Nope. So what do you think of that response? Totally unfair. So common is this problem that the EU's Consumer Commissioner has twice written to Microsoft asking why she is receiving so many complaints about the Xbox 360. And in the United States, lawyers are organizing a class action against the company. Microsoft continues to um, harp on this idea that uh, it's the user's fault. It's the users that are moving these consoles and that somehow uh, users with a $300 gaming console and a $60 game disc are sort of cavalierly throwing their consoles around the room. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, a number of people that have come to us have insisted they didn't move the consoles at all. Whoever it's happened to, wherever they are, Microsoft's response has been the same. The scratches were caused by you moving the box while it was being played. Something that everyone here... Did you do that? Did you? No. Yeah. Well, they insist they did not do. So, 
can we work out what's been going wrong? We set up an experiment with two Xboxes, one brand new and one that we knew had already caused a scratch. We placed them both on level, stable surfaces, put vases of water to indicate any movements, sealed off a secure space and inserted brand new games and then set some serious gamers to the task. Watchdog Research has played solidly for six hours a day for three days and neither Xbox moved once. After three days, not a single scratch. But then those conditions aren't exactly the same as your average living room, never mind a teenager's bedroom. So then we tried another experiment and this time the results were quite different. We sent the same Xboxes to a lab in Hampshire where special testing equipment replicates the vibrations you'd get in a typical home. The first simulated walking and that caused no problem at all. But then the boxes were subjected to what's called shock vibration test. The equivalent of someone putting down a heavy book on the table by the Xbox. The newer box passed with flying colours, but the older one, which remember had caused a scratch before, did it again. During the shock test, we actually applied pulses to the unit, shock pulses. And what we actually noticed was that the unit failed very, very, very quickly. Certainly if you're playing a game like Guitar Hero or Rock Band, these are exactly the kind of shocks and vibrations that you're going to get transmitted through to the unit. And we would certainly expect it to survive without damaging the disc. So it seems ordinary household movements could be the reason why the Monaghan's discs scratched when they were letting their inner rock star free. And you can't blame them for moving about a bit when they're playing. <laughs> because that's exactly what the ad for their favourite game suggests you should do. The US lawyers have had similar test results to ours and they're likely to be a key part of their case against Microsoft. There are a lot of people with expensive discs that are now useless because they've been scratched by their Xbox and they say that by not replacing them, Microsoft are not playing the game. And until they do, how can families live up to their rock star dreams? Mop on the water, in the sky. Dad rock. Please, I've got a heart of rock and roll. Uh, well, Microsoft say only a very small number of their customers have contacted them about this and they're sticking to their guns as to why. Now, they're adamant there's nothing wrong with the box and still blame the owners, which is why they put notices on the manual and on the console itself warning people not to move it with the disc inside. Something, of course, that everyone we spoke to insists they did not do. Interestingly, Microsoft wouldn't comment on our lab tests. They just say despite their own extensive testing, they haven't been able to replicate the problem. Well, they've set up a free phone number you can call if this happens to you, 0800 587 1102. But it doesn't sound like they'll be changing their tune on this anytime soon.